The first statement we're getting now from a family member of the president's, and that is Hunter Biden, his son. What's he saying? Yeah, and he has a lengthy statement here, Hallie, where he is referencing really just to the emotional turmoil that his father has gone through through his entire life. And he really says that for his own entire life, Hunter Biden writes, I've looked at my dad in awe. How could he suffer so much heartache and yet give so much of whatever remained of his heart to others? Not only in the policies he passed, but in the individual lives he's touched. And Hunter Biden, the president's son, goes on to say that really he felt that the president, his father, had just really given his decades of service to countless everyday Americans he says who he has given his personal cell phone number to because he wanted them to call when they were hurting, when their last hopes were slipping through their hands. That unconditional love, Hunter Biden writes, has been his North Star as a president and as a parent. He's unique in all public life because there is no distance between Joe Biden, the man, and Joe Biden, the public servant of the last 54 years. Hunter Biden ends this statement by saying that he's so lucky every night that he gets to call his dad, the president, to tell him that he loves him and to thank him for all that he does. And at the end and conclusion of this statement, he says, I ask all Americans to join me tonight in doing the same. Thank you, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. I love you, Dad. So, of course, there's so much to unpack from this incredibly close relationship, Hallie, but we should just point out that it was our own reporting a couple of weeks ago that brought to light the fact that Hunter Biden, who, of course, is a family member, is very, very typically around the president and has been at White House events over the last couple of years, even and despite some of his legal troubles where there had been questions about his proximity to the president and whether that was doing any damage to his campaign. And the president always wanted to have him close and to keep it that way. But in the last couple of weeks, as the president was facing this Democratic dissent and the calls for him to step aside, we knew through our reporting that Hunter Biden was a really key figure in consulting with his dad about the path forward and had even been in a couple of White House meetings, which surprised some of those senior advisors. But I think it's no surprise here that, as we're hearing in depth from Hunter Biden, that really they want to put the focus on their dad and the person that they know so well in terms of the human being. And that's likely what you'll hear from other family members who've been posting on social media today and will continue to, we're told, and from the First Lady whenever she makes more extensive comments as well, Hallie. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.